Welcome to Gugugugu Myth and Nickelmore. Butt drugs. Butt drugs. Butt drugs. Butt drugs. I love butt drugs. Well, sir. Remember that? Yeah, man. Times were simple back then. You just roll into a town, make a commercial. We were grinding, man. Yeah. Grinding on them butt drugs. <laughs> I got it, I got it. You know, uh, Katie Butt of Butt Drugs, she'll send me a text every once in a while. Okay. Did she text you? No. <laughs> what? Okay. Is it pictures? <laughs> Is it pictures? <laughs> of butt drugs? You know, it's just updates. About, got a new butt drug. It's just updates about butt drugs. Hmm. Butt drug updates. Maybe it's just a newsletter, <laughs> actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, we have to guess the uh, definition of this word. I. Zertz. How do you spell that? X E R T Z. Zertz looks like Hertz with an X. Um, this is this is a, a totally nude rental car service. No, this is actually when Hertz and Xerox, just for a couple months, they became one service together. You drive a car over something, and then they spit out a. Uh, a yeah, copy? They started with one car and made copies of other cars. Right. One of those two has to be right, which is it? Twinkle Fingies, let us know. Act it's of the... gulping something down in haste. Oh, Zerts! That's just how you eat. Yeah, I'm a Zertzer. You're a Zertzer. Zertzer, Zertzer. <sighs> All righty. Guys, you chafed Chase's foot. Oh, yeah. By Ooh. trying to because of the pull hole. it out of the hole repeatedly. Well, when a man puts his foot in a hole. Yeah. But any, good news, he is using a uh, mythical lotion <laughs> and he will recover. Um, oh, wow. And I'm you sorry, know you Chase. can get that on Amazon.com slash mythical. Um, tell us, so we're to determine if non-sexy things are actually sexy. Yeah, these are, these are non- sexual things that some people find sexy and and you have to determine whether or not you fall into the category of oh, thinking they're sexy or okay. not. Like for instance, the first one is when a person of interest uses your name. Person of interest uses your name. So like somebody like the, that you're attracted yeah, to. Yeah, Or yeah. like a suspect says your a name. Crime? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sexy. I mean, okay, first of all, really? I so when Jesse says your like Rhett instead of baby or honey or can you you know you are like oh that's sexy that yes. you just said Rhett. Well, first of all, everybody likes their own name, and that's why in like whatever that book was like how to win friends and influence people. Like one of the things that they say is to like say people's names back to them. It helps you remember your their name, but it also makes people think that you like them. And so, I, and I'm actually really horrible about this. I, I say, even for people who I know really well, I very, I very rarely use their own name. I'm like, hey man. Right. You know, uh, well, I have just name saying fright, people's so names. I have to do that. I'm more of a. But when you take, when you make it somebody who you're attracted to, to me, that, that has some power. Well, I think if you're not in a relationship, but they're a person of interest, like you hope to start a relationship, you're interested in them, and they say your name, then ooh, that, that'll that perk you right up. But I'm more of a call me by your name. <laughs> like when when Christy calls me Christy, it is on. Yep, right, that's, I, I don't know if I can relate to that. Well, I mean, millions do. It's a, it's 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 a hit song. It is a hit song. Um, I've got to massage you with my feet. Can I get clarification? Yeah, because I, I have the, I have What did reasoning. we actually say? Yeah, so I have is reasoning as to, what, what did he, what, huh? No, I want to know clarification on what's being massaged. I'll massage your hand. I'll massage Is it anything, anything I want to be massaged? Uh, you, yeah, you're, you're, you're okay. Kaylin is confirming. You Any? may choose the, the body part area that you would like uh, massaged. Okay. All right, well. Weenus? I could use some weenus massaging. It's, it's right there. It is right there. And it needs, it's dry and it's pointy. It gets, when you got a pointy elbow, it, look, the skin gets a lot of work. Cause like, look, it's super stretched all the time. And then you do that and it's just this bulbous thing of just extra skin. I mean, it's really, can you imagine what that's gonna look like when I'm 80? I thought you were asking for clarification on why some people like when people use their name, which I do have. 
It says, having someone call your name or repeatedly use your name in conversation has a tendency to make you unconsciously refocus more on them and what they're saying. This technique is used in non-romantic settings like job interviews and sales conversations, sales conversations. <laughs> but when it's used by someone of interest, it can compound into excitement and infatuation due to the heightened awareness surrounding that person's actions. I think I don't know weenus, who's, who's doing weenus, the massage. You're massaging me. You like what if Link said your name as he's massaging your weenus? Yeah, say my name. Ca call me by your name. Link. Go harder. <laughs> See, that doesn't work for me. Call me by my dude. Name. You would be such a good elbow massage. Oh, I can get the. I could get those pressure oh my points. Gosh, ow! Just for just to demonstrate that. Do you have any spots back here? Uh, well, you have part of being a masseuse is finding them. Like oh my I'm, goodness. like I'm gonna. Oh my goodness! Oh. That's too much. Yeah, but see, man, I should Higher. go into where here. Oh my you have gosh! To say his name, just, oh. just breathe, breathe. Say his name. Breathe. Oh, breathe, Link. Good job, Link. Breathe, Charles. <sighs> breathe, Charles. Okay, now release, that. release. Oh, okay, Other okay. side. Thank you, Link. Now yeah, take a side. deep breath. Take a deep breath, Charles. Oh. Oh. Now slowly release. Slowly release. Oh. Oh. Man, that I is... should be massaging more people. Okay, I actively... That is a weapon, dude. It actively bothers me. I, I feel as if I've done something... I, I don't like it when Cassie says Stevie can whatever. It, it like, is different. It feels different. I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> you know what? They don't even... We're just going to cut that out because you're not even on camera right now. No one will even know that you just cursed, yeah. Stevie. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That um, was good. good. Now, yes. I know that j you're not attracted to anybody except Cassie, but it, let's just say that if you were <laughs> attracted to someone else and they were to use your name, like Link said, so somebody who's like, oh. I know, I, I'm trying to think of it. I can't even. Like if you were in bed with pizza feeding somebody. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Right. All right, let's hear another one. I think Maybe something else is going to get us. Prolonged eye contact. Shh. Heck prolonged yes. eye contact. Um, I think I've discussed this in detail uh, on Ear Biscuits, our podcast, but I had a thing, especially in middle school, that I would do with the ladies that I was interested in, and it's essentially stare at them. Uh, but the, the thing stalker is, lock. is, the thing is, is that the ones that liked me back and stared back at me. That's the ones I dated. So you actively, like, was this a choice that you made when you you were like, I think if I stare at them, they will like that, and so I'm going to? It was a way of communicating without having to go up and talk to them that I'm into you. And then I, 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 do, I remember who the girl who became my eighth grade girlfriend, and earlier in the year in eighth grade, she looked at me, and she noticed I was looking at her, and she just looked at me, and there was like, we're gonna look at each other for like five to eight seconds without breaking eye contact. Wow. And you do that and you're like, okay, it's on. And then she became my girlfriend and like a, a week later. Did someone advise you to I do that? I operate on instinct, Stevie. <laughs> I do not recommend this. I'm just saying it, for me, I mean, just think about it. It's just, you're, 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 the you're, rest of your face matters when you're staring at somebody. It makes all the world a difference. Yeah, if your mouth is open, that's not good. Mouth gotta be closed. And there's, you, there's gotta, you've gotta, you gotta, you gotta give them the sexy eye stare. You can't give them the stalker eye stare. Yeah, yeah, but this is a, I mean, am I wrong? This is a time-honored tradition. Like, if you're at, uh, and listen, again, I've been married for 20 years, I don't do this, but if you go to a bar and you see somebody across the room who's attractive, and you make eye contact, and the eye contact lasts sustained both ways for more than a few seconds, that's immediately, if especially the, we combined with the right face, you should come and talk to me, or I'm gonna come and talk to you. Like, I think that's super sexy. Am I wrong about this? No, no, no. It's, the human eyes are designed to attract attention. Steady or prolonged gazes can signify purposeful attraction, curiosity, or general interest. It can be yeah. one of the many nonverbal ways to communicate to someone that you see them specifically more than anyone else but around. Keep your mouth closed, though. Let me try. Okay, no, that, lo that looks like <laughs> their hair is on fire. <laughs> so t tone it down just a little bit. Do it, look again. Okay, 
Well, your mouth seems sad. <laughs> right. Do it again with a slightly. Right, I'm, happy, a, I'm with a really with trying. a slightly yeah. happy mouth. That. Oh no 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 no. All, it seems almost comically sexy. Com, it's comical. Do, do, be, do a little more serious. To so look away. Hey, well, Paul Rudd got sexiest man alive. He did. He did. He's a goofball. I, I could be next. Okay. I, did I say that out loud? Yeah. Not a good look. Yeah. Right. Mm. All right. Let's move on. I'm not much of a starer. This yeah. is um this is what I've seen on TikTok and I don't quite understand. Uh really rolling up sleeves specifically when men roll up their sleeves. Oh. You just mean like just a little casual forearm. Well, and I don't reveal. know if it's the act of actively rolling up or they have been rolled up. Oh. Are there any women here? Kaylin, you you Are there you any have an women opinion? here? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kaylin said it's like you're about to get to work. I've got to dip my hands in something. <laughs> I get this. I mean, listen. I got to get elbow deep in some love. I'm about to deliver a calf. <laughs> get the glove, baby. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to understand the sexual, maybe, maybe not, but so far, these are all like, yeah, of course, yes, this is, I totally get why people think this is sexy. There's no specific scientific reasoning behind this one, but some say it changes the perceived proportions of a man's arm slash body. Some say that it signifies that it makes it look like they're ready to put in work. Kaylin wrote this. <laughs> some, including me, Kaylin, putting oh, in work. Here's another one. Uh, wearing gray sweatpants, specifically men. Okay, okay, cross the line. No, this is, gray I mean, in my opinion, pants. there are dudes Do you who hear the giggles think, in the stage right there now? There are dudes who think that if you can see an impression or get an idea of their manhood, that women think that think that's sexy. I guess there are, you know, there's a famous scene in The Leftovers. What was, who's, who's the guy? Who's the guy? Yeah, Justin Thoreau. Yeah. So he's jogging, and his. <laughs> well, he's. His hose, is uh is. Is along for the ride. You know what I'm saying, and. Uh, I One actually more time? think don't don't don't. <laughs> I I think because he is considered a really sexy dude that women are into that. But I think you have to be like you've got to be a nine or a ten on a scale of one to 10. I don't like to put people on scales, but I'm just saying, you gotta be like a universally super sexy guy to get away with this move. Every no, guy below, to, a nine be and below. someone's nine or 10. It's different for each person. It doesn't have to be universal. Yeah, 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 you have to be, be that the person's person who's nine or seeing 10. your, the outline right. of your schlong has to be somebody who's super attracted to you, because otherwise it's just. Yeah. And I, and I will say, um, yeah, John Hamm has a reputation What are you for, looking at right now? Uh, I'm looking at a picture of John. Twinkle Hamm. Fingies is pulling up pictures of John Ham in sweatpants. J John Ham cannot look away. John Ham, I mean, this is again, this is like second hand, second hand, second hand. This is like eighth hand information. But I've heard that John Ham has a reputation for kind of letting it show and not wearing underwear. Well, there's actual like photos of this, so it could yeah. be first hand. You could say. Yeah, that's also true of my. High school soccer coach. What? Yeah. He he would wear he would wear soccer shorts and no underwear. Like that was his thing. Like and and sometimes they'd be see through. The dude, I think we need to look into this. The dude, the dude was he was actually a pretty crazy guy. He's awesome. He's, like, I was like, <laughs> he's actually it's pretty awesome. What dude, I mean, it? you just don't want to be sitting on the bench behind him, trotting back and forth, coaching the team, and like giving it a nice yell. But um, yeah, you could you could really see his cheeks and his floppy his floppy drive. Okay. It was weird. You know what is really sexy? Magic, especially holiday magic. We're actually bringing back Robert the Mythical Party Magician. Yes, who we are. Did we have our, to. Our so holiday great. party last year on Zoom, but also was here on the set with us doing magic tricks. He is doing his very only holiday magic special exclusively very on the Mythical only. Society. 
<laughs> this Tuesday, December 14th, you can join any degree, first, second, or third, at mythicalsociety.com to watch. And can we amazed. talk about this magic show for yeah. a second? Because if it's anything like the one that we had last it awesome. year, it it's was great. so awesome. Because it, it's tailored for, for Mythical Beasts. Yeah. You will enjoy it because it's there's the, there's inside jokes and it's it's very referential. And it's like... I have no idea how he does any of that. Yeah, he's a magician. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. the point. Well, it's a, it's it, it is magic, Stevie. Um, here's here's a couple of uh, shorter ones. Absent-mindedly playing with their hair. Absent-mindedly, I like purposeful mm. hair playing. <laughs> Absent. Oh, it's just I just don't I just don't know if it's. I think Something. it symbolizes, absent-minded symbolizes mm -hmm. a nervous energy, and when people have a nervous energy around you, it makes you think that they are nervous because of you, and so that can be sexy. What about two-handed, absent-mindedly playing with your hair? It's just like like a herbal essence is commercial. Well, I don't think it's like fixing your hair. <laughs> it's like twiddling. Mm -hmm. That's a really good, I don't I have a, the science behind it, but I completely believe everything that you just said. Hey, touching <laughs> yeah. someone else's hair. That's why I'm starting a cult, Steve. Is very <laughs> intimate. Like if you touch someone's head or hair, that's a that, oh, that's very intimate. Not so like if you see yeah, their them own. touching their own hair, it's kind of like a, dis, a disembodied version of your own hand touching their hair. Right. And again, there's got to be other things at play. Like you got to be attracted to do other things before that really works. But. When it works, it really works. Yes. I this Sexy. is interesting. This seems not like a real life uh typical thing. Nonchalantly leaning on a door frame. <laughs> Just like leaning over here, like if as if it was a door frame. Again, in the same way, leaning up against something symbolizes comfort. And so comfort in someone's presence can also be a sexy thing. Comfort I just think and also is also confidence. Like just a nice gangster lean. Yeah, I mean gets if, you gets you uh if you're just standing confidence. in the middle of a room and you're just like this. <laughs> if you're like a, a, a game character. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's not sexy. But the moment the moment you're just like Wow. Maybe put the left arm down. Put it in your pocket. Put about, it down your pants. No, but look at this. Double trouble. Oh. There we go. That's it. I'm both comfort and nervous. Comforted and nervous. And then just stare. <laughs> and roll up your sleeves. <laughs> um, roll up your sleeves. Link, you will really like this one. Pushing up their glasses. Oh, God. That gets me every time. Do it a few times. You talking about this? You talking about Do it in the way that this? you actually do it. Yeah, that's exactly how you do it every time. You don't yeah, you don't touch the you touch the side. You don't touch, touch the, the side. Touch the side. Touch the side. Is there Sometimes a, it's like hmm. it's something on my hand, but I still gotta do it. That, is that is that sexy? Is there a reason you decided to touch the side instead of the middle? Is it just because it's easier? Um uh, it doesn't feel natural. I always, when I'm pulling up my glasses, do it from the side because it feels like why would you take this your is middle a trope. finger and then? So yeah. it's like I think I I think I when made you a decision. You touch the middle. It's like something that. an actor who doesn't wear yeah. glasses, who's wearing glasses for a role, does. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, a nerd like, oh, role. Oh, mm -hmm. it's not really how you do that, but that's they're doing it because they're acting like they're wearing glasses. I don't. I. I know I do this all the time, and I don't. I I I've, I've never seen anyone do that and think it was sexy. So I don't. Yeah, I, this one's I, I, this one's tough for me. It's a little too utilitarian. It's not. I mean, it's a to me, it's akin to scratching your butt. Mm -hmm. like, I think pulling your glasses down is sexy. Do that. Yeah. See, I mean, yeah, <laughs> like that makes some sense, right? Get a little open mouth gate with it, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pushing them up is the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah, uh, pushing them up is the, it like puts you back in business mode. But when you're down, it's like party time. It's like, I wanna see you with my eyes not very well. <laughs> Ooh, I like it when you're fuzzy, you You baby. just got better looking. <laughs> 
Join Robert the Mythical Party Magician Tuesday, December 14th on the Mythical Society for an exclusive holiday magic special. Details at mythicalsociety.com.